Hey guys, we're at our hotel now in Anaheim, and uh, we are leaving to go to San Diego today, uh, back to the other hotel that's right on the bay. So first we're going to stop at uh, Coronado Beach because mm -hmm. check-in is not until 4 o'clock. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're going to hopefully have a really good day and not get sunburned. Yes. Uh, but uh, it's supposedly supposed to be really cool, so I don't really think that would be an issue. Yeah, usually in San Diego, the weather is, uh, it varies, but it's usually a little chilly, uh, especially for June. So we're going to hit the beach and see what's going on. Yeah. All right. See you there. Okay. Uh, that change here. Uh, full tank, 86.79. Have to get some snacks. We'll be on our way. Takis? No, no Takis. Okay, we've got the snacks. Filled up. And now we're going. Now we're going. Okay, so we got to the beach. Finally. Um, we're at Coronado over here. Just uh, FYI. Parking sucks. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah. Um, and it's like hazy today right now mm -hmm. and cloudy and it still sucks. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a Tuesday. Yeah. So, yeah, just be, bear that in mind when you come here. Uh, parking's really going to suck. So, yes. you're just going to have to keep going round and round. Now, mind you, you there is a whole side of the street right now that's closed and it's a tow-way zone. So, that really took a lot of spots. Um but yeah, a lot of people, again, first week of June, really didn't think there'd be a whole lot of people on vacation just yet. Um, but yeah, so if you want to come to Coronado, I suggest coming late afternoon. Um, hopefully, you know, the fog will dissipate and it'll be really nice and sunny. Because uh, right now, it's still kind of foggy. Um, no rain, but not really sunny, uh, which kind of sucks to lay on the beach. A little chilly. It's around 73 degrees right now. Um, so it's pretty comfortable, but it's a little chilly for my taste if you want to be on the beach. Um, but yeah, yeah. Just be aware of beach parking, um, how crowded it's going to be, what's going on in the area. I would definitely do my research before, uh, just heading out and thinking, oh, we're going to have a day at the beach. Um, because there could be things going on, which then draws more people. All right, so let's go to the beach. Yeah. Go to the beach. Oh, you got a baby first. Yeah.
and try this Gatorade Fit. Let's see how this tastes. You know, because I'm parched from this, this sun out here. Gatorade Fit was pretty good. Um, not really that sweet. Hmm, why are they going nuts? But, uh, pretty good calories. What? Yeah, they're going nuts. I need you to help me look for them. They're fucking filled on my honey. What is this shit? There's a lot of seagulls. There's a lot of seagulls. You know, they, they moved away from the water. Kind of tells me that there might be a storm coming. Let me just. I don't want to get the cheese and salad. No, don't get the food out. Don't get the food out. You're crazy. What's going on? Why are they all crowded? They're really good. It's really good. San Diego, San Diego beaches anymore, so we're not going to pull that out. That's not true. Um, yeah, it is. It is? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh. So says the Google. Um, okay, so. Mm. No. So. No? We got a white cheddar popcorns. We got. Some garlic plantain chips. Pretty good. Uh, our Italian bread here. and our prosciutto di Parma. Because we're Italian, we bring things like that to the beach. Cheese, um, cheddar, and yeah. I 
I would hope they'd be comfortable. You are laying on air. No? Maybe. Yes, these are very comfortable. And it's not, the outside isn't plastic, it's actually like a felt. So it makes it a little more enjoyable to lay on. Alright, well, glad you're enjoying it. The sun's sort of coming out. Get like little, little, uh, Lips here and there of like, like warmth and then cool breeze and warmth. It's kind of cool. Um, my earphone head hanging out there, uh, but it's it's pretty nice. It's getting a little nicer now. So it's starting to look up, you know, brighter out, more people in the water. There's a lot of seaweed down there today, though. A lot of seaweed down there. If only for the moment. The sun has come out. Don't worry. According to some people, it might come out tomorrow too. That was a really crappy joke. I know. I know. I know. I will keep my day job. It's definitely cold. It's really cold? It's cold. <laughs> it's cold, come on. going to get us with like, silly. yeah a little bit eventually there's going to be like a big wave and I'm going to oh get oh god oh shut up oh god here comes the water oh, oh here we go oh it's not that bad once you get in for a second Yeah? Yeah? Is it that bad? I mean, it's not so bad once you get in. What is this? It's oh, fucking California. It's supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to be like this. Woo! <laughs> it's not that bad. Oh, look, here comes a bigger one, honey. So the water is pretty good. Um, 
but once you get in for a second with your feet, it's fine. I, I, I wouldn't recommend going all the way in unless you have a wetsuit. Not when it's like this. It is beautiful, though. size. A little fridge down here. We'll put our Jutelan stuff in there. Uh, they give you ice and some cups with it. You know, ice bucket. Uh, coffee. Typical you know, hotel stay stuff. And some boss water. Thought it was free, but you know, in the clear print right there, seven dollars per bottle. Nice little menu. If you want to order something. Outlets and the lights, um, little chair, you know, phone, and all that. Very standard stuff. Um, we are Worldmark owners, so this is a Wyndham Hotel, so we did get a discount on this room. Uh, the bathroom here. Standard bathroom. Uh, I do like that it has a stall shower. That's probably one of my biggest requirements when we ever book a hotel room is having a stall shower. Uh, because that's just me. Any sink, you know, one person, but not terrible. Um, some storage closet in here. This is pretty big, actually. Um, we never use the closets pretty much because there's no reason to for us. All right, go out here, and this is pretty much what you're gonna pay for with this room. Um, this room is about 2:30 at night. And this is pretty much what you pay for with this room. For this, um, for this hotel, you have the S4 Tower 2 and the I4. Um, you definitely want the floor above floor 7 uh, because if you're anything below. 
below that, it's not going to be that great of a view. See the entire bay. You can see from this view. And I would go outside on the balcony right now, but um, in this hotel, we are on a corner room, but the balconies are quite close. As you can see, there's like people outside, so I'm going to kind of give them more space. That's um, comparable to this would be Fogo de Chao. Um, they don't include the seafood with the meat and everything else. Uh, if you look at the menu, they do have a, um, quite a bit more included with their price. Uh, price per adult is $62, which is pretty comparable. Uh, Fogo, I think, is about $63 to $64, and then the seafood and all that's extra on top of that. So we're going to go down here. And we're gonna see how this is. Hopefully, really good, and definitely, hopefully, yes. worth the money. We'll let you guys know yes. how good it is, of course. Um, yes. But it sounds like it's worth the money, and super excited to try it. Here we go. Put that there. Uh, yeah. Come on. That's good. I forgot my sunglasses. Oh, wait. Go get those. Wait, yeah. I need my sunglasses. Oh, not good. Ready? Okay, let's go. Yeah. 